Hey everyone, welcome to part 7 of our Johto journey. Um, I don't know what my cat is doing over there. <laughs> so here we are in Goldenrod. In our last video, we came through Ilex Forest in Route 34. We battled our way through. We have been training up our Hoot Hoot, so now our, our team consists of him, Quilava, and Poliwag. And I don't remember if... Is it Meryl, Azumarill? I don't remember if he's available in Crystal, but if we run into one, I'll probably end up switching Poliwag for Azumarill, or vice versa, um, just to keep it a little more version specific. <laughs> we also hatched Togepi, but then dropped him off at the daycare center. And then we took our time exploring all of Goldenrod, you know, there was a lot to see. It's the first big city besides Saffron, really, that Pokemon attempted. Um, and it's bigger than Saffron, so, you know, we got our bike, we got our radio, we investigated the Wiggly Tree. So, yeah, in this episode, I'm going to try to attempt Whitney, so wish me luck. Let's see how it goes. All right, so before I attempt Whitney, I have no faith in my team. Maybe I should, but I don't. I also have no faith in my skill as a trainer, especially while I'm narrating. So our team is looking good. We got our little egg. Um, we got this level 10 Spearow that's holding some mail, and I'm going to keep him in our party for now. It doesn't really matter. It's not like he's taking a, the space away from somewhere, someone else. So, yeah, I want to improve my team. I want to rise up some levels, so I'm going to keep the gym for last in this video. Like I said, I have no faith in myself. So I'm going to train up. We already fought these trainers here. And we're going to come to... Oh wait, it's nighttime! Now I can fight this guy! Fight me! You, policeman! Yeah, like I said, I think I said it in a prior video, the watchmen or the, yeah, the officers, they will only battle you at night. I think he just has two Growlithe, I'm not sure. Growlithe is really cute. I think too... I think Growlithe might not be in this game because we ran into a Vulpix earlier and usually I feel like if you have one, you don't have the other, you know? It's one of those, like, version things. But this is crystal, so I'm really not sure. Yeah, so he just had two Growlithe, and my Poliwag took them down pretty easily. So, yeah, I just love the National Park so much. The little bug catching contests were always, you know, uh, a fun little extra to do. I don't think it's one of the days that the bug catching contest is on right now. You know, this is the second time that I've checked my Poke Gear and it has said Sunday, so I don't know if my game is changing days. I don't know if this emulator is uh, complete. <laughs> So I don't know if we're ever going to be able to do a contest. So it's not a Sunday, we can't do the contest, but listen to this beautiful melody. I love it so much. It is so peaceful and soothing. Oh man, back when you could print things from your Game Boy Color. <laughs> this is so long ago. Yep, so we're just gonna boop around the park. This little lady is enjoying some time with her Pokemon. <laughs> you know, my little sister is a teacher and she sometimes says things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, the quick claw. This will really come in handy. Oh, awesome. Yeah, she's going to tell us. Sometimes it will strike first during battle if you have a Pokemon hold this. So I don't think... Let me see. I don't think any member of our team is particularly slow right now. Let me check their uh, speed stats. Speed 25... Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. So I'm gonna give it to Hoot Hoot to hold. I think I already have him holding maybe a bitter berry. 
So yeah, I'm gonna give that to him because right now he is the slowest member of our team. Great, so we equipped the Quick Claw to Hoot Hoot and I'm gonna keep him as first in my party because we're about to fight a bunch of bugs and he's flying type, so that's perfect. Hello, ma'am, let me fight you. They're simply darling. This is me if I was an NPC. <laughs> Clearly me. I'm a Pokey fan and I think they're all darling and cute. But she has a snubble, you know, that's not the choice I would go with for a darling. Great, she gave us a lot of Pokey dollars, that was really cool. So let's see who else is lingering around in the grass. Wait, if you're not in the grass, will you still fight me? Nope. They're really pushing the stickers, huh? I know there's other people here. Where are they? There's usually a guy, like right up here. Pokey Trainer Nick, anybody? He always beats me in the bug contest. Alright, there's no one over here, so we're gonna keep it moving. And this is the first time that they introduced the tall Pokemon grass. I love it. Is this a callback to, I think, like when you're on your way to Mount Moon in Pokemon Red and Blue, I think some girl throws a fit about you looking at her. <laughs> so this could be a callback. Okay, so she had a Cubone, which kind of threw me off, but he's also weak to flying type moves, so my peck really came in handy. But my Hoot Hoot took a headbutt from him, so I have to give him a potion really quick. Okay, let's keep moving on. I'm gonna skirt around the tall grass for now, and if I see a trainer, I'll go in, like, there. But first, let me talk to her. Oh, that's very sweet. Now let's go fight this man. Why do they dislike you, though? That's a little bit concerning. Let me guess, he has a Pikachu. You know, I was close enough. Look at this chonky boy! Oh my god, I love him! Amazing. Beautiful. Oh no, he's allergic. I should have switched out. <laughs> oh god. Oh no! Goodbye, Hoot Hoot. You didn't stand a chance. tell you they don't make Raichus like they used to <laughs> but that Raichu did completely take out my Hoot Hoot because I didn't switch him out in time so let me just I don't think I have a revive or if I do I only have one and I want to just like hold on to it because Whitney's coming up so I'm going to go heal my team and I'll be right back okay so we're back and we're gonna just continue going through this and I will mention I did remember that we have the bike now but I enjoy this music so much that I want to listen to it, and that's why I'm not riding the bike right now. So what does this guy have to say? He's playing his Pokemon. More about printing. <laughs> I didn't realize, like, this is my first time kind of realizing how much they're pushing <laughs> the printing here. So we're going to get this hidden little item. And I'm going to take the long way around the other way, because I believe there's another hidden item or like a tree to cut down or something and I hope that I'm remembering this correctly and that there's not like some water we have to surf over because we don't know surf yet so fingers crossed is it down here yeah there we go I don't remember offhand what this TM is let me check what it is oh it's dig Ooh. let's see if we can teach it to someone I have no qualms about using Dig. Really? Really? Okay. Let's get out of here. So it's Dig and Monty can learn it, but I don't know if I want my Typhlosion to know Dig. I'm gonna marinate on it for a little bit. We'll see how it goes. I think there might be another item down here. Yeah, it was hidden. great because I don't think we have access to full heals yet so anyway let's walk all the way back around again okay and let's go back into the grass to train up and to find people to fight keep going 
it was up there already. Let's fight this guy. Doubtful because I'm from the future. He was pretty easy. He didn't know more than us. Who else? Who else? Who else? I think we fought her already. I wouldn't mind finding one either. Alright, so I think that's all the trainers that we can battle. Um, I don't think there's anyone really on these outskirts. And if you haven't realized already, <laughs> This section of the National Park with the long and short grass, if you zoom out, it looks like a Pokeball with the fountain in the middle. Obviously, I don't know how to, we can't really zoom out right now, but um, that's just, you know, a cute little tidbit that I appreciate. So I'm going to train up my team a little bit more, and I'm gonna cut that out because you don't have to see me like pecking a dozen Spinarax, so <laughs> stay tuned, one second. Okay, so Hoot Hoot is at level 18. Polywag is close to raising up another level. I'm gonna head out really quick and I'm going to check out the trainers on this route because last time we did go near them, but we did not fight them. So, cool, we got an ice berry. That'll clear up a burn. So yeah, trainers give a little more experience points, so let's have at it. Ooh, he's gonna read my thoughts. Hope they're pure. He said he misread us. Wouldn't we all, man? Let's see who's, if anyone, is hanging out in this grass. Level four? We were just fighting Pokemon that were like level 14. Yeah, he was here too. Yet another school kid who's arrogant about his in abilities, or inabilities, like I was going to say. I'm physically trying to hold in the statement, it's so cute. <laughs> I like that little sprite animation of balling up and then coming out. Easy peasy. I think this is just the sister of the flower shop lady. Yeah, she's just reminding us that we have to defeat Whitney and get the water bottle in order to progress any further. So let's walk back through the park so I can train up a tiny bit more. Hoot Hoot's at level 19 now, so I'm gonna make my way back to Goldenrod, fighting whatever Pokemon come my way. Like this one. And then we're going to fight Whitney after healing up. So let's make our way out of here. here and I'm gonna ride my bike all the way back to Goldenrod back to the Pokemon Center where I'm going to heal up my team back on our bike let's head up to the gym it is not here it's <laughs> above the tracks I was on the wrong side of the tracks okay what does our helper have to say home to normal type Pokemon use fighting type well I don't have any so let me save my game. We are all saved up and let's go get our first trainer. She got us. I'm a cute little trainer, I sure am. She likes us, but she won't hold back. I can respect that. She is quite a looker. She's got three Pokemon. Let's see how we do. Honestly, I don't even know what level they are. Level nine. You know I'm not worried anymore. <laughs> it's over. Tons of prize money. Great. So she did have three Pokemon, and while the first one was level nine, um, she had two more Sentret that did increase in level each time they were sent out, all the way up to, I think, 14? I don't know. I didn't look. Let's accost this girl. Give it your best shot or I'll take you down. I am loving the feistiness in this gym. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so she had two Meowths, and they were both level, like, 16, so I still made it through. Still not feeling very confident, but here comes the next battle. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. I'm so ready. I think. I'm full of bravado. Okay. 
Okay, we made it through her okay. I think there should be one more. Yeah, here we go. Before Whitney. Hello, ma'am. Love it. As a female playing this game, I do have to say I do appreciate this. So far, every trainer in this gym has had, like, the same type of Pokemon for all of their Pokemon. So if they had three Pokemon, it would be, like, you know, three Sentrits, two Meowths. So before we fight Miss Whitney, I'm gonna go heal up my team. Back at our gym, full of tough but cute trainers. And, you know, for an early 2000s game, they didn't have to do that. I feel like it, uh, was not the norm back then to show feminin femininity while also showcasing strength. It was always like one or the other, so I like that. Okay, we're gonna save our game right now. Dude, I'm so nervous for this. I literally like, I think I have to go get a drink. Hold on. So I grabbed an Oktoberfest. This is not an ad, but if you wanna sponsor me, Sam Adams, please do. I'd appreciate it. Sometimes you just need some liquid courage, you know? I'm not alone in this, so here we go. She's Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. I know! You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. And she is not lying. Her mill tank is no joke. She has steamrolled me before. That's why I'm so scared of her. <laughs> her and like those twins in Moss Deep City in like Ruby and Sapphire, like those are the two sets of gems that I just, like, I'm afraid. Let's keep it going. Great. You know what? Let's, let's just put him to sleep, if we can. Metronomy again, using Rain Dance. Okay, so far her metronomes have been pretty unlucky. Metronome can pick any of the TMs and just have the Pokemon do it, so honestly, we got pretty lucky. They could have come out with something electric, you know, and just we would have been gone. But now it's raining. Can I take advantage of that and pull out my Poliwag? See, I'm not completely stupid. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, it's still raining, so I'm gonna water gun. So the rain gives a boost to water type moves. So I mean, I might as well take advantage of that. Okay. Okay. Still asleep, great, great, great. Rain stopped, but I'm still gonna water gun. Okay, we took care of the Clefairy with no real damage to our team, so we're doing good so far, I think. But here comes the Mill Tank. Um, I'm gonna stay on Poliwag because he does have Hypnosis, which might come in handy, so, um, let's, let's see. You stupid cow. I hate you. Hypnosis, Hypnosis, Hypnosis. No! Please don't roll out my whole team. Okay, okay, you're sleeping. You're level 22. No, you're level 20, I'm level 22. Okay, I'm freaking myself out here. <laughs> Let's headbutt you and see if that does... That does like an okay amount. I would like more, but I'll be happy with what I get. Um, let's double slap. Maybe we'll get lucky and have like five slaps. Nope, just three. I guess, you know, we can only be so lucky with this mill tank staying asleep. Let's see what Water Gun does. Not a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to headbutting. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna keep drinking. Does Whitney ever use, like, any potions? Because this is looking surprisingly good for us, but now the cow is awake. Um... Ooh! 
literally that is the easiest that it has ever gone for me. I think that all of my worrying paid off because I think it made me battle better. Ah, oh, I was nervous. She's crying. Oh, shut up. You shouldn't be so serious, you child. Okay, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> Okay, so she's just crying a lot. She's calling me a meanie, and she did not give me the badge. I think if I walk away, yeah, her lackey is like, um, she cries when she loses. She's a sore loser. Let me try to talk to her again. Yes, that's your job. Do it. <laughs> we received the plane badge. Cheers. So now we can use strength outside of battle, but um, we don't know strength yet. We don't have HM4, so whatever. Oh, it also boosts your Pokemon's speed. Awesome. And she's going to give us TM45, which is... She'll tell us in a second. Attract. You know, useless. I think attract... I can't remember. It does either one thing or another thing that I'm thinking of. It either brings down your opponent's attack, right? I'm confusing it with charm, honestly. I can't remember the difference between the two because one of them makes your opponent like attracted to you if it's the opposite gender and the other one just decreases your opponent's attack. So I can't remember between charm and attract which is which. So let me heal up my team again. All right, our team is all healed. We have another badge. I feel like this is a good place to stop. Oh my god, wait, we can't end yet. So we beat the gym, we have to go get the squirt bottle from the little florist lady, and we have to go like clear the way for the route. So let's go, I think this was it, right? Hello? I'm better than Whitney. Yeah, I sure am. I didn't think I was, but I am. I'll be okay. Here is the squirt bottle. Awesome. I can't believe I almost forgot this. Okay. So now we have the squirt bottle. I'm gonna go to the location where the little squiggly tree is. Okay, we're at Route 36. Um, let me save the game really quick because when we do the squirt bottle, he's gonna like jump at us and fight us right away. And if I make him faint, I wanna be able to restart the game because I, I do wanna catch him. This is, I think, the only chance we get to catch Pseudo Widow, so. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert. We've saved our game. Here we go. Use the squirt bottle, yes. Wiggling again. He doesn't like it. And he attacks us. And the grand reveal is that it, it is pseudo widow. <laughs> He's shaking his little tree bud at us. He's a level 20, it's not that bad. Maybe I'll keep him on my team. If I peck him, I'm not gonna like take him out of one go, right? This is why I save. <laughs> ah, it did nothing, cool. So he looks like a tree. I know he's not grass type. I thought that he was had a subtype of fighting, so I thought the peck would do more. Let's put him to sleep. I knew he was rock type, but I like I said, I thought he was fighting too. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that typing was added later. Um, let's try someone else. Since he didn't like water, let's pull out Polywag. And let's give him some hypnosis, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's do a water gun and hope that it doesn't take him out. Okay, I can deal with that. If I hit him with one more water gun and he stays asleep, I feel like we have a pretty good chance at catching him pretty quickly. Okay, great. Stay asleep. Stay ah, he woke up. He's kicking me. Get out of here. Um... Let's try a Pokeball right now. I mean, yeah, I have a Great Ball here. Let's try that. Ooh. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna try to put him back to sleep. And it might be my Poliwag's last move. <laughs> and it didn't even work. Oh, no. Yeah, he's just kicking me right into the ground. Oh, sorry, Poliwag. I failed you. Um, Alright, let's get Monty out here. 
and we'll have him take all these kicks and we'll, we're just gonna try to keep catching him. Let's use one more great ball. Please, 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 please. One, two, three. Ah, oh, it worked. Awesome, we've got our pseudo widow now. Get his data in our Pokédex. Blah, 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 blah. So where do I find out what type he is? No nickname. Great, and now we are free to go. So Ecrateek City is this way, but before we do that, and before we end this video, we have been tasked with something for a little while now. There's been a Spearow hanging out in our little team because we made a promise to deliver him to someone that's on route, what was it, 31, I think? Which is over here. Thank goodness I have the bike, man. So it should be this guy. Come on now, there we go. Wake up, please. Yep, I got mail for you. Take this, Kenya. Oh, cool. He gave us a TM in return for delivering the Pokemon. Ooh, it's Nightmare. I don't think I've ever used that before. That is kind of scary. Okay, so he said Dark Road leads to another route. Is that a hint from the game that we should try it now? We don't know Rock Smash yet, so we can't. So no. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, oh man, I have to go through the grass. Okay, we have to go all the way back to that route, all the way back through Violet City, and I'm gonna bring us to where we defeated Pseudo Widow. And we're gonna keep going on to Ecrateek. Is it this way? Yes. Gets a little confusing, you know? So here we are on Route 36, passing by everybody. Oh, come on. Okay. And here is where I'm going to actually stop for real this time. Before I log off this time, I do just want to say that I do exist on other corners of the internet. I've included some of them in the description down below. So if you ever want to see more of this beautiful face or hear more of my witticisms, uh, if you can call it that, <laughs> um, follow those links below. And I also have um, a cat Instagram for the cats that you see walking in the background of this video. So if you're into, into that sort of thing, if you like your feed to have, you know, some cute cats on it every once in a while, give it a follow. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.